what would you see as the societal benefits that could happen from this, you know, at whatever time scale? For example, connecting brains or something. Have you thought about what that could, what that would turn into, not just for spouses, but for society? I mean, at the end of that is this idea of substrate independence, which is the thing, like I, when I, like I see a person, there's two parts to this. There's the, there's the robot and there's an agent. And I'm going to be pretty, pretty disappointed if I get murdered by my pancreas, which is like basically a support structure for like keeping the agent going. And so there's, I think this takes us to, like if we're serious about exploring the universe, I think we have to adapt ourselves to the environment rather than bringing little pressurized bottles of earth with us everywhere we go because our like one's great grandparents grew up on a planet that happened to have those things. And so I think this is like very profound technology. So substrate independence just for the audience means getting off of this wet biological stuff and onto something more robust like a silicon chip or something. In other words, getting your mind into something that can survive uh, space travel. Which could be other biological brains or it could be an engineered system. Um, th brains are composed of ordinary matter assembled by the rules of chemistry. There's no magic in there. They're very complicated, um, and we don't have obviously complete explanations for how they work, but they're ultimately physical systems. And so there's something that they're doing that's producing this experience that ultimately must be explainable. And so what you're doing with the, with the electrodes, the biohybrid electrodes in the brain, how does this lead to substrate independence? Well, the, uh, the idea is that if you can get, like if you can really in some profound sense lose track of where one brain ends and another begins, then where does this take you? I have no idea what that experience will feel like, but I'm pretty confident that that device is going to get made in the next decade. And this is this is research. This is not a. I'm, there's nothing to sell here yet, but it's the type of frontier that is enabled by the types of devices that are getting made now. And that and there's I think enough near-term commercial revenue from things like the from the visual prosthesis to to fund this this stuff happening.